Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be checking out my top three budget VPN picks for 2024. Now, the reason I decided to make this video is because I've been seeing a flood of cheap or free VPNs going around these days, a lot of which are not exactly all that great. Some of them lower their costs by selling user data to advertisers, while others cut down on necessary features and even go as far as displaying ads. And unfortunately, a lot of people people end up using one of these, despite the fact that there are much better options out there that don't sacrifice privacy, security, or features while still being pretty budget friendly. And so I did my rounds of testing and narrowed down these options to NordVPN, Surfshark, and CyberGhost as the overall best budget VPNs of 2024. But of course, despite having a lot in common, they all have their own thing to offer. So I'll be going over all of that in this video to help you find a VPN that best suits your needs and situation. And if at any point in this video, you'd like to check out any of these VPNs, I'll be leaving all the useful links, including some special discounts in the description down below. Now, before we talk about what each VPN has to offer, let's talk about a few things they have in common. First of all, they all have strict no logs policies, and they operate on RAM-only servers instead of hard disks, which means that these servers cannot store any information. And of course, you shouldn't take any VPN's word for it when it comes to privacy policies, unless they can back it up with some sort of proof. And that's why all three VPNs on this list have gone through several independent audits conducted by trusty auditing firms such as PwC and Deloitte, all of which confirmed their commitment to their policies. Other than privacy and security, all three of these VPNs have the necessary features that you should look for in every VPN. For example, all three have a kill switch that would sever your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. And this feature is one of the most important things to have in a VPN, especially if you live in a censorship heavy country, because it prevents any of your data or activities from being leaked over to your ISP, government, or anyone spying on your network. You also have a split tunneling feature which I wouldn't exactly say is essential, but it's a really useful feature to have, and it's been standard practice for all premium VPNs to include it. And what it does is it allows you to choose which apps pass through the VPN tunnel and which ones don't. So if I only wanted my browser to use the VPN while the rest of my apps are left unaffected by the VPN or vice versa, I can do that with split tunneling. Okay, now that we've talked a little about what they have in common, let's check out what each one has to offer. Start Starting with CyberGhost, which is the cheapest VPN on this list, but despite the surprisingly low price and not having as many features as Nord or Surfshark, CyberGhost is still definitely one of the best affordable VPNs that gives you access to streaming and torrenting while also protecting your data, and it does have some cool things to offer. Okay, so for example, CyberGhost has the biggest list of servers out of the three, starting at 11,600 servers spread across 100 countries. Now, while the quality of the servers and connection speeds may not be as crisp as NordVPN, it's still consistent enough to be on this list. CyberGhost also has a bunch of dedicated servers that work in a pretty unique way, and I haven't seen any VPNs use this approach yet. For example, let's say you wanted to watch a specific Netflix library. You can just type Netflix in the search bar and it will give you access to all the servers that are optimized for Netflix. It makes my life a whole lot easier. And to be honest, I kind of wish other VPNs had something similar to this. And so if you're looking for the most affordable VPN out there that still does its job very well as far as giving you access to streaming services, fully supporting torrenting and protecting your data, then CyberGhost is a great option. Now, if you want an even better budget-friendly option that gets the job done at the best possible cost without sacrificing performance, security, or the necessary features, then Surfshark is right up your alley. Now, Surfshark might not be as fast as NordVPN, quite frankly, no VPN really is, but it's still a faster and more consistent VPN than CyberGhost. Now, if you ask me, one of the best things about Surfshark is the fact that you can use it on an unlimited number of devices, whereas with Nord for example, you get up to six. And with CyberGhost, you get up to seven devices. And so if you're someone who owns a lot of devices, or if you want a VPN that you can share with your friends and family as much as you'd like, then Surfshark is the best option. And when it comes to surfers, 
it has over 3,200 servers spread across 100 countries. So it's got the same country count as CyberGhost, except that it's more consistent when it comes to maintaining high speeds across all the servers. Now, as far as features go, Surfshark kind of falls in the middle between CyberGhost and Nord. It has a lot of cool bonus features, more than those of CyberGhost, but it's not exactly as jam-packed as Nord. Still, it has all the essential features we mentioned earlier, like the kill switch and split tunneling, but it doesn't stop there, as Surfshark also has a bunch of bonus features that are pretty interesting. For example, it has a no borders mode, which would help you get around firewalls in censorship heavy countries, and a rotating IP address that would switch up your IP every 5 to 10 minutes, making it nearly impossible to track down your activity. Surfshark also has some specialty servers, such as static IP servers that would have the same IP address every time you connected to them, which can help with accessing servers that are sensitive to IP changes, like bank applications or to simply avoid annoying CAPTCHA requests. You'll also be getting dynamic multi-hop servers that will route your connection through two VPN servers instead of one for double the security. Not to mention that Surfshark now has dedicated IP support, so you can get your own dedicated IP that no one else can use, which is very helpful when it comes to online activities that demand higher security, such as online banking or remotely accessing highly sensitive or regulated data. Oh, and one more thing to point out with Surfshark, just to show you how budget-friendly it really is. If you opt for the highest tier, Surfshark One Plus, which comes with an antivirus, a VPN, a safe search feature, and even a data leak tracker, it would still cost about the same as most VPN VPN subscriptions, which don't even offer any of these security tools. And so if you're looking for the most budget-friendly VPN that gets the job done at the best possible cost without sacrificing any of the security or features, then Surfshark is the way to go. All right, now I saved the best for last. Out of all the three options, Nord offers the most value for your subscription. Now, it does cost a tiny bit more, but you'll be getting a lot more in return. And I do mean a lot more. First of all, Nord is the fastest VPN out there, whether you're looking at budget-friendly options or premium ones. Now, one thing I should mention is that when it comes to speed, it's natural to experience speed drops regardless of which VPN you go for, and that's due to the time it takes to encrypt your traffic before it reaches the internet. Generally speaking, any speed drops between 10 to 25% are considered great, and even speed drops of up to 40% are still considered good. Now, in the case of Nord, during my tests, my speed drops were around 10 to 25%, which rivals that of one of the fastest VPNs out there, which is ExpressVPN. In fact, there were even instances when it beat ExpressVPN, as it scored around an 8% speed drop while I was using its fastest performing protocol, Nordlynx. So it's safe to say that NordVPN is the fastest VPN in the industry, at least according to my test results. Now, as far as features go, NordVPN has the most features out of all the VPNs that I've tested on this list. And having this many features adds a lot to its value, considering it's still a relatively affordable VPN. For example, on top of the conventional kill switch that we talked about earlier, it also has an app kill switch that would shut down the app the second you disconnect from the VPN server, instead of outright stopping your whole connection. You also have threat protection, which blocks ads and trackers and protects your device from harmful files, acting like a bit of a mini antivirus. There's also this neat little feature called Dark Web Monitor that would keep an eye out on the dark web and alert you to any leaked data. And you also get MeshNet, which allows you to safely share files or have safer mode access over the encrypted network of NordVPN. And this would really come in handy if you're working from home or if you're on vacation and you want to access the files on your office computer, for example. Oh, and one more thing that's sort of a personal favorite of mine is the interactive map. I really like this one, as it shows me pins of the server location, so I get to choose the VPN server that is closer to me and connect it with a couple of clicks. Very clean and very intuitive. But besides that, NordVPN over 6,000 servers spread across 61 countries, all of which are perfectly optimized for both streaming and torrenting, giving you access to virtually any streaming platform and most of their global libraries. Now, when it comes to torrenting, you can torrent perfectly fine on any other servers. But if you still want a little bit more support, Nord also has a lot of VPN servers that are specifically dedicated to P2P activities. So ultimately, 
how do you decide which of these three VPNs might be the best choice for you? Well, if you want the cheapest option, or if you want the most server locations to choose from, then CyberGhost would be the way to go. And then Surfshark would be the one to get if you want the most beginner-friendly VPN, the one that's the easiest to use. Or if you have a larger household, you can have as many people as you like connecting to Surfshark using your subscription plan without any limitations. And that's because Surfshark provides an unlimited number of simultaneous connections, which is pretty incredible. And then, no matter which plan you pick, Surfshark is absolutely the best value. And that's because, even if you go for the more expensive one plan with Surfshark, it's still cheaper than NordVPN, and it gives you better features, like a fully-fledged antivirus, for example. So yeah! Surfshark is definitely the best value option for the money. Finally, Nord would be the one to get if you just want to get the best. It's consistently the fastest, not only on this list, but even compared against other more expensive VPNs. It provides the best security, it's the best for streaming reliably without running into issues. And if you do any torrenting, Nord would also provide the most protected experience out of the three. It really doesn't get any safer or faster than Nord. It's an easy recommendation recommendation for anyone looking for a well-rounded VPN that does everything right. And amazingly, you're able to get all this at such a great price. So hopefully, this video was helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate that. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask as I love getting to answer as many questions as I can. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day!